I will invite uh, Ellen Kay to kind of stay with us. Um, I think by now you, you all know, know her to share some closing remarks. Um, so Ellen, like what, what do you take home? I mean, you, you were converted before starting, but what do you take home from this morning discussion? And maybe if you could give us some insight on how we can kind of concretely, for instance, like change the, the, the so-called set plan that, that kind of that really uh, flagship, like that kind of European policy that's really guiding European uh, research and innovation priorities to be more um, kind of designed for around like social sciences and humanities. Um, the, the mic is yours. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, thank you very much. Um, do you see me, hear me? Yeah, it's all good. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, maybe um, to make a joke to begin, uh, one thing will be um, to have more friendly syst IT systems, to be honest. Um, because uh, I am very puzzled to see that uh, because of the crisis, uh, we go for more digital in energy or in everywhere, and uh, we are at risk to increasing the gap. But OK, on, on this specific part, on, on really the role of SSH, first of all, um, I, I would say I take from it that there is a general agreement. It is important, but the question mark is how and why. Uh, the, the both are linked, because if we say why, then we, we see where we need to do something. I was puzzled to see quite a lot of mistrust in uh, the policymakers. Um, and, and that's a little bit worrying because uh, what I heard also in the discussions, if you carefully listen behind the words, is that there is a lot of excellent ideas. So this mistrust on policymakers is very damaging and it's not the reality. Um, just uh, uh, to make it clear, we have to work. One of the conclusion is we have to work hand in hand uh, between academia, industry, and uh, the uh, policymakers on citizens' approach. And this has to be on the two streams. Uh, there were proposals of doing uh, research, but um, that, so that's doing specific research on SSH, but also on involving, so the process for involving citizens, not only doing research on them, but involving them in the research and in the decision. And these are the two important legs um, the, which are uh, rendering, which are matching the importance of social innovation. On the, the first panel, I have to uh, take really uh, some important point um, that uh, it's receiving increased attention, that there is also an increased attention on uh, having social indicators. This is very important. We need to know. Uh, uh, first, if we want to monitor, we need first to know. That's basic, but seems forgotten from time to time. And uh, research can bring a lot of knowledge, whether it is on the way technologies uh, are helping or not enough helping or putting difficulties, but also on what the people need um, to, to have a better life. On the second panel, um, I saw indeed a lot of discussion on how we do it, uh, how uh, uh, research can really help. But um, I would like in that case to answer your question on uh, specifically energy and the set plan. The set plan is dealing on technology, but it has a lot of input also on improving the daily life of people. So um, one of the, the uh, points I saw also um, is that um, the, uh, what do um, or what do the policymakers do? What do they do uh, for matching better the needs of the citizens? I'm trying to do it in, in very uh, simple words as a conclusion. Um, citizens engagement by design is or should be a mantra for policymakers. It's more an approach than only building on research projects. But research project will help a lot for that. In um, Horizon Europe, we have put 
the citizen approach, this SSH, as a mainstream. And uh, if I can give you an example also on how much the EU cares about, this is the European Bauhaus, uh, which is a big new project. We have been speaking on Green Deal, but don't forget the Bauhaus, which is really for citizens. And that led us to an aspect which was a little bit behind and mentioned, which was a cultural side. Culture is part of our heritage, is part of our life, and um, respecting cultural and putting culture also in SSH, this is very important. Um, there were a lot of very good ideas, but what I get also uh, is maybe to conclude this wording uh, I find is very much resuming um, what to, I mean the line to take. This is that people are the expert in their own life and we should respect this expertise and try to integrate it as much as possible with the help of researchers. Thank you very much for your attention. Forgive me if I have forgotten something and if I give the floor back. Thank you very much, and I think that was a, a great uh, a great overview um, of of the day. I I won't actually summarize this further. I think this was a perfect job, but I, I do want to say that um, the yeah, I, like again, thank you everybody for for attending and for the insights. We have one slide um, that maybe Irina you could put up, which basically helps us, I mean, if this uh, was of interest to you and if this kind of piqued your interest and you want to keep in touch, there's many ways uh, to do so. So first of all, the website includes a number of resources, um, including, like just uh, coming back to the kind of the, the, the need uh, like to, to, to create better interaction and contacts and database of experts and policy workers that could kind of potentially work together on this. There's a lot of like summaries and, and lessons from the fr from our work, a lot of resources kind of demystifying some of the themes addressed today, like the, the set plan in particular. Um, we will also have like a, a final report coming out soon that will cover some of the, the themes discussed today. Um, so I invite you to kind of check this or to even sign up to the newsletter to make, make sure to, to, uh, to receive it. And of course we can follow us on Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, uh, etc. Um, so again, uh, thank you everybody for joining us today. Like the speakers, the panelists were, I think, uh, amazing, but also like all the everyone who participated in the chat, whether or not we were able to uh, take their, their questions or not. Um, thank you for DG RTD uh, for like the, the support and for being in in the, like having like just speaking today uh, with um, Zanari Paquet and of course Ellen. And a massive, a massive thanks to like the, all the people in the consortium and huge thanks to my colleagues, Johanna and Elonara, who basically organized uh, this, this event today. Um, goodbye, thank you, and bon appétit for everyone on the European continent. <laughs>